Welcome back to MBOX Frustrated User Guide. You're watching MXQ Pro Upgrade Secrets. Have an old MXQ Pro MBOX like this one? Running a dated media box launcher like this one? Ever wish it had a voice control mic and something that would let you run the latest leanback apps just like a new Android TV box? Something like this? Well, the upgrade is cheaper and easier than you think. Here's a list of everything you need. The microphone only costs five dollars and change. I'll leave a link in the description below the video. For this to work, the box has to be running Android 6 or greater. It works great on Android 6 and Android 7. It doesn't work on Android 4. I don't know if it will work on Android 5. To see what version of Android is running on your box, click on Settings. Navigate across to the About button. Click on the About button and then navigate down one time. The version number is at the bottom of this list. It says Android 6.0.1. It's going to work on this box. For voice control to work, we have to add Google APK to the box. Get the latest version right from the Google Play Store. And be sure to allow all the permissions it asks for. Once installed, it's handy to put a shortcut on the home screen. So click the plus sign. Then click the Google tile. A green check mark appears. Hit return. There's your two shortcuts. To test Google Search Assistant, click on the microphone icon and ask it anything you like. Google, how the Celtics make out last night? Yesterday, they played the Wizards. The final score was 116 to 110 Celtics. Well, that was pretty nice. Remember, this is an old MXQ Pro box. You're not supposed to be able to run Google Search Assistant on this box. Well, next we're going to do something else you're not supposed to be able to do. We're going to install a leanback launcher and then we're going to install some leanback apps. To install the launcher, click on Browser and in your search criteria, search for Lean Back on Fire Launcher. Now, it helps to use two words. And when I did that, it came up as the first item in the list. So we'll click on this. And we'll come down to Releases. We'll click on that. Scroll down. until we get to release APK right here. So we'll click on that. Starting download. Now we can check the status of our download in the upper left corner. Hold down the left mouse button. App release. Download complete. We're all set. Press the home button. Takes us back to MediaBox Launcher. Now we need to install that app. So where to go? Well. Navigate down to the file browser. Hit enter. Nav down to local disk. Hit enter. Nav down to the download folder. Hit enter again. And there it is. Nav down to it. Click on it. And nav across to the install button to install it. In the event that you get an install block message, it just means that unknown sources is turned off. Navigate right to the settings button. Hit enter. Scroll down to Unknown Sources. Note that the switch is white, indicating off. Hit Enter. Navigate right to the OK button. Hit Enter again. The switch turns green. Now you can hit Escape and continue with the installation. Once the Leanback Launcher is installed, we'll need to run it. Tab over to My Apps. Hit Enter. And find it in the App Drawer. Here we can see it on the third row. And we'll run it now for the first time. Hit enter. Lean back launcher on fire installed on an old MXQ Pro box. Now I've already installed two lean back apps on this box. I've installed Haystack TV and also Pluto TV. Those apps don't even show up in the old launcher. Well, let's go check. You see them right here on the left. Right, they're right here. Let's try to find them in the old launcher. I'm going to go back home. 
I'm going to go to my app drawer. I'm going to hit enter. Now we'll carefully scan these apps. I'm going to go across the first road. I don't see Pluto. I don't see Haystack. We'll come down a bit. I don't see Pluto. I don't see Haystack. Come down a bit. Still no Pluto. Still no Haystack. Still no Pluto. Still no Haystack. And that's the end of it. Where are they? Well, they are here. But because they're lean back apps, they don't show up in the app drawer. So if you install them, you wouldn't even know that the install was successful. In order to play them with this launcher, you have to click Settings. And then navigate across to Apps. Oh, there's Haystack. There's Pluto. And if you click on it, you can open it from here and it will run. But who wants to do this? You want to be able to open it right from the launcher. This is not convenient. So that's why having a lean back launcher is so important. Let's go back to it and see how it works. I press the home button. I'm going to go to my apps. Press enter. I'm going to go to lean back launcher. Press enter. There it is. And there are your shortcuts. Let's try Haystack TV. And a good Wednesday to you. I'm meteorologist Cindy Fitzgibbon. Finally, some drier air is working on in behind our storm system that's been bringing us the gloomy weather the past couple of days. Let's try Pluto TV. This is the exact same version of Pluto that you get on expensive Apple TV boxes, Amazon Fire Sticks, and Roku Streaming Sticks. It's not supposed to work here, but you can see that it works perfectly. The best part is that you can use the nav arrows on your remote control to change channels. Can't do that with Pluto's phone app shown here. It's made for a touch screen. And even with a mouse toggle on your remote, it's very difficult to work the channel change arrows on the right side of the screen. If you ever tried the phone app on your inbox, then you know how frustrating that can be. But not with the LeanBack app. Now if you want to make LeanBack on Fire the default launcher, and who wouldn't, go to Settings, Preferences, More Settings, nav down to Device, Home, and change the default from MediaBox Launcher to LeanBack on Fire. From now on, LeanBack on Fire will be the launcher that you see every time you start the box. Excited yet? Well, I've saved the best for last. Let's try voice search within an app. I'll search for a public domain movie. Night of the Living Dead. There it is. The Jar J. Romero classic that started it all. It's the second find in the list. You, you can't even do this with most new Android TV boxes. The voice control remotes that come with those boxes only work with Google Search Assistant. They don't let you search within apps. But this $5 GearBest mic lets you do both. Just look at how the box turned out. Now you can't please everybody, but I think most will agree that was $5 well spent. Thanks for watching. Next time on MBOX Frustrated User Guide. Think we did okay on that MXQ Pro Box? Watch what we do to an old me cool.